Should we jump right into the ticket sales? Should we go look at the tickets? I don't even know what I'm asking you. I'm going to go do it anyway. Should, what should we use? Ticketmaster. Let's go. Wait, wait. Let's go. They, they're, they're, um, official ticket seller or whatever you want to call it is a X S a X S or something like that. Tick tickets. But I like going to Ticketmaster because you can, you know, let's see. Let's go look at some tickets. Let's go see what's up. Here, let's go full screen. Let's go get some tickets. Let's go virtually buy some tickets. My credit card's maxed out. So we can't we can't virtually buy them. But we can window shop. Um, is it this one? Let's see. Is it this screen? Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong screen. My bad. This one. All right, let's go. Let's go virtue buy some tickets, right? All right. Ooh, they got a Cyber Monday sale on tickets. So let's go right here. Let's get some tickets. No, I'm not no damn robot. You know I'm not no robot. I'm fucking tripping. Oh, hold up. We got to do it this way. You got to see how expensive the tickets are. Hold on. Hold on. Let me adjust some shit. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me adjust some shit around. One minute. I think this is going right, to I think this is going to work. Yeah. So the most expensive tickets available, y'all, they opened up. This wasn't open the last time we checked. Here, let me go down some. This wasn't, I don't think this was open, especially this up here. This wasn't open. Let's see how many tickets left. What's going on in section 106? What's going on? Mm, I don't know. This is not looking good. What do y'all think? Am I being biased? I think these tickets are going to go. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, they open more, but I don't. Let, let's, let's zoom out. These are all available tickets. Well, I don't know. What's going on? Y'all think, is it me? These are ones they opened up. I mean, this is this is a uh, 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 shit that everybody has access to. You know what? People used to tell me when I first started getting into media, they used to say like, "T. Drew, you shouldn't cover stuff like that. They're not going to want to let you into events." This is the motherfucking news. I wish they would tell me. I wish they would tell me some shit like that. It ain't my fault. I'm trying to sell tickets, and guess what? They're keeping me out of the event. But hey, you scumbags! If you're streaming a fight, I'm going to find out who you are. Support the sport. Y'all want to be talking about how much motherfuckers want to be making this shit, but then don't be buying the fights. Burns me up. I don't know. This is not looking, you know, like to me, honestly, and I've been covering boxing for a long ass time. This is not looking good to me one week away from the fight. And I'm trying to really, really be optimistic. Yeah, yeah, true. Also, remember, we are after Thanksgiving and people, for example, me are usually broke like the day or week after Thanksgiving, right? So can't we kind of say that? And what we should do is we should go look at this again on the day of the, uh, we should go look at this again on the day of the weigh-in because people like picky, picky and choosy with their money right now. So I'm expecting a lot of this shit to be sold during a uh, fight week. And you got to think the promoters and everything are thinking too, like, well, yeah, tickets are slow because it's Thanksgiving and shit. Yeah, we're going to check during the weigh-in or or likely the the um, the stream we do for the final press conference. Yeah, that's what I think. I think, you know, I think probably like Thursday and Friday when people get paid again. If it was the UK it would have been sold out in weeks. But see, you got to understand, you know, UK fans are much more passionate than American fans. That That's, you know, that's apparent. There's statistical data that would prove so. But however, America is where it's at.
it's weird like how that dynamic is like if you if you become big in this american market you become global but you know i think the fight's going to be a success i'm hoping like for example i'm not hearing any casual buzz are y'all hearing any casual buzz Are y'all hearing any casual buzz? Like, I don't hear people like, yo, the dude that's fighting on Showtime, knocking out the, the, the Irish dude. You know how people be fucking shit up, right? The Irish dude, you know, I'm not hearing any casual buzz. I'm not. No, see, no, no, don't know. No, in the UK, I know there's casual buzz. Because those names are linked to the, um, uh, Anthony Joshua. But over here, Anthony Joshua don't have it. I'm not hearing any casual buzz. I'm not hearing people like, yeah, that fight motherfucking next weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm not hearing it. Like, for example, with Canelo versus Golovkin, that had real casual buzz. I didn't think that, um, like, honestly, I'll be honest with you. I didn't think that Golovkin would be able to do it, to be able to cross over like that. I didn't think it. I realized that watching the post-fight press conference and watching how that shit was all over ESPN and people was tweeting that shit. I didn't think that Golovkin would be able to do it. But with this fight, I, ha I had to remind people at the barbershop, see, there you see, you're not here. And that's where you hear that casual buzz at, like places like in the barbershop or in like the supermarket or like in the Uber. You know, Eddie Hearn does buy up all the tickets in the UK, but nonetheless, guess what? They still be sold. People be in the seats. They still be sold. What do you class at class as a successful event for this event or just events in total for this event? Honestly, a super successful to me. And I believe didn't Steven Espinosa say he would be happy with 250,000, 300,000 buys. Let's just do some crude math here. 74.99. Who buys in standard definition, right? Now, however, if you buy online and standard, did you notice that if you buy online in standard definition, the quality is better if you buy on TV in standard definition? Did you notice that? I don't know. I noticed that. I noticed that. In fact, let me put motherfucking Liddell Ortiz 3 on the TV now in the background. And um, obviously, I'm going to be covering it. We have somebody there. Also, um, um, we're going to be having live highlights of the fight. Also, a sign when I asked you, answered your question earlier on the community chat, the same company that denied us credentials for Wilder versus Fury granted us credentials for the um, Ortiz Liddell fight for the same guy, Rob. But let me do this first. Uh, it's my new Xfinity remote. It's awesome. It's a voice remote. But it'd be fucking up. I want to see like what the, what the, my bad, my bad. Anyway, where was that at? What was I talking about? Oh, $75 a pop. So let's say, for example, now understand that they're paying Tyson Fury a lot of money to come over here. 75 times 300,000 is 22 five million dollars as we can see ticket sales are not you know as of right now i feel there's going to be a lot of walk up in regards to ticket sales right i feel there's going to be a lot of walk up in regards to ticket sales because it's after thanksgiving you know people are really having money issues until they get paid next week and also it's the first of the month get up, get up, get up. Yeah, it, it's 74.99 here in uh hd i i tried to buy it earlier and it says reminder it's not letting you buy it yet at least not on xfinity here in fact we can just check right now and see how much it costs online um let's go to the showtime i have the showtime anytime app by the way it, it's very underrated especially their boxing catalog has more than their on demand tv catalog so if you have regular show if you have showtime then you have showtime anytime 